good evening answer to life i just wanted to hop on for a few minutes and just wish everyone a very good week and hope everyone's having a great week and just to give you guys a quick update i guess i would say because i'm currently on vacation and i forgot to announce that last week so we will not have a message this evening but i just wanted to hop on real quick and just say a quick prayer for everyone and and to just encourage you for a few minutes the spirit of the lord is upon us because he has anointed us to do the works of the ministry so i just believe that in these last days that god is is looking for men and women that will obey him and do what he's asked them to do and so this evening i, I just want to encourage you guys to get in the word find find your scripture and, and chew on it and meditate on it for for tonight just just pick something that's that's on your heart and and pray for the ministry pray for myself and and my family and the, the things that we we have going on and and we greatly appreciate it and and i just wanted to lift everyone up tonight and just give you guys a, a word of encouragement that whatever situation you may be facing that god is there with you he, he said he would never leave us and he would never forsake us that he would always be there he's the one thing that we can count on in this unpredictable life that we live day after day after day god is the one thing that we can depend on his word and what he said in his word is is dependable it, it is without a doubt the only thing that we can totally depend on to be true and so i just wanted to take a few minutes and encourage you guys to to really believe god for the things that he's promised you the promises of God are, are complete when we when we believe. He, he is never late. He is never against us. He's always for us. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys, and I just want to say a short prayer for, for everyone, because I know this has been a, a really difficult time for a lot of people. You know, with, with everything that's going on, there's been people that have lost loved ones there's people that are struggling with their loved ones health you know children that are you know in in dilemmas you know having crises in their life on, on whether to go left or right or, or to stay the course or you know and so i believe that god has given us wisdom through prayer and so i just want to say a quick prayer for you guys and and remind you guys that next week we'll be back and we are going to be talking about Moses and, and and all the things that the lessons that we can learn from Moses. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for tonight. I thank you for these men and women, Father, that are here listening to my voice. Father, I thank you that your spirit would reign in their life. Father, those that need comfort, comfort them. Father, those that need healing, heal them. Those that need direction, Father, give them direction. And Father, I just thank you that by the Holy Spirit of God, all things are possible for them that believe. And, uh, and I believe that our faith is greater than anything we can face in life. And Father, I just thank you for your people. I thank you for the blessings that you bestow on them. And Father, for answer to life, I thank you that we have all of our needs met, Father, financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually. And Father, I just thank you for the partnership we have with the people that are, you have placed in our in our in our sphere of influence and the people that you have chosen to stand with us father that the blessings will overtake them and father that they will be a success and they will have and do everything that you intended for them to do and father i just speak a special healing anointing to flow into this this atmosphere father all the sickness all the disease all the all the death that the enemy has tried to bring forth father i curse it and, and bind it and you said whatever we curse and whatever we bind will be bound in heaven so father i thank you that that spirit of sickness that's on the body of christ that's on the believers father it is bound and father we will live in supernatural health and strength from this day forward in jesus name hallelujah
Well, I just wanted to hop on here for a minute and just give you a quick injection of, of faith because all of our life is built on faith. You know, it is impossible to please God without faith. He said that is the only way to please him is, is with faith. He doesn't get pleased by your actions or your words or, or what you do. He gets pleased because of your faith in him and your commitment to him. So I just wanted to encourage everyone. And as always, if you, if you need anything from, from us or this ministry, we have our contacts and how to how to get a hold of us. We we're always even when I'm on vacation, I'm I'm still not on vacation. <laughs> I, I'm I'm still available at all times for, for all needs. And so, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a few moments and I felt bad because I didn't relay this last week or, or on Sunday because I, I just it's been a really busy last few weeks for me with a lot of things going on with work and church and family. It's just been a lot of things going on. <laughs> and so, but I, I did want to hop on here so that if you were looking for, for a message tonight, you know, I'll give you a little little faith boost. And next week we'll, we'll dig into Moses. You guys have a blessed rest of the week. And remember that Jesus is on the throne and that's all that matters. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And everything that we do should glorify him. And so thank you guys for letting me in, interrupt you for a few moments. You know, enjoy the rest of your night and enjoy the rest of this week. And remember, find your scripture and, and, and chew on it for an hour or so. And, and let God, let the Holy Spirit and God minister to you through those scriptures. Because it's the word that it will last forever. So you guys have a great week. And I will see you on Sunday if you, you can make it. 10 a.m. at the church. If not, I'll see you next Wednesday. Have a great day.